Boys, hurry up and finish packing. It's almost time to go camping. Okay, Mom, I'm just finishing packing the last of my things now. Man, I can't wait to bring my guitar. I'm going to rock out around the campfire. <laughs> Get in! Billy, that's not going to fit in the bag. And nobody wants to hear you sing. Yes, it will fit in the bag. Watch, I'll make it fit. You'll see. Just... Guys, are you forgetting? Mrs. Jenkins' sister's babysitting us this weekend. And you guys didn't even pack nothing to prepare for it. Hey, Gertrude, are you almost ready to go camping? Hello, guys. Listen, I hate to do this to you. I have to cancel. I'm sorry it's last minute. I've got trapped gas. I've been up all night. It's just explosive. I'm so sorry. I'm so sick. Trust me, you wouldn't even want me in that tent with you guys, even if I couldn't make it. Oh, the smell was just embarrassing. Okay, okay, okay. That's too much information, Gertrude. I don't need any more. It's okay. You don't have to go with us. Okay, like I said, I'm so sorry. Okay, goodbye. I don't want to babysit them boys. Thank goodness I got out of there. Now it's time for some real fun. Woo! Sweetie, stop. I got bad news. Gertrude canceled. She got sick. We can't go camping now. We don't have a babysitter. Oh, man, are you kidding me? What are we going to do now? Hey, hey, neighbor. Sounds like you got yourself a little predicament. Good thing I love camping. You know what? Hold on one second. Honey, I don't think we have any other option. I am not missing this camping trip. I think we should take him with us. Fine, I guess, sweetie. I'll go tell the boys. Oh boy, I'll go get ready. Boys, I have a little bit of bad news. Gertrude got sick and she had to cancel the camping trip. Yes, this is going to be the best camping trip ever now. I can't believe she's not going. Yes, I knew buying this voodoo doll the other day and using it on Gertrude would work. But good news, me and your father were outside talking and that's when the neighbor popped up. Mr. Um, what's his name, Um? Honey, what's his name? I don't know his name. You don't know his name? No, why would I know it? Oh, well, he's been our neighbor for 20 years. It's too late to ask now. What neighbor, Mom? The weird neighbor over there with the telescope? Mom, I don't even think I ever seen that guy leave his house. Guys, he never leaves the house because all the kids in the neighborhood said that he's an alien. Mom, he can't go with us. We'll get him dumped in. He's not an alien, Billy, and he's going with us whether you like it or not. So hurry up and get ready. Alien Fargo and Alien Robert. Yes, Supreme, Supreme Ruler. You two used to be the best agents and now you're the two biggest buffoons on the force. I can't believe you ate Princess Vivi's favorite pet. Gluck, gluck. We thought it was food. We didn't know it was a pet. Luckily for you, she found a new favorite hobby. Camping. She wants to know everything about camping. And she wants you to bring her back some s'mores. What do you want more of? No, I said s'mores, you idiot. How can we have s'more if we don't have anything? We don't know what to give her. No s'mores! Oh. Come on guys, our campsite's right up here. I'm so excited. I haven't been camping in so long. Well, we're really excited that you can make it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Well now, tonight is gonna be amazing. There is going to be an alignment with Mars, Jupiter, and the moon. That hasn't happened, like, ever. It's like once every 50 years. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and we are going to witness it. And if you look right here in the northeast quadrant of the sky, you're going to see Orion's belt like never before. It's going to be quite a sight, and I really am excited. Oh, I'm just shaking in my boots thinking about it. You do know that the boys think you're an alien, right? An alien? Mom, what are you doing? Go tell him! Yeah, Mom, he might call the mothership and they'll do experiments on us. E.T. phone home. Oh no! He's gonna call the mothership! Everybody run! Every man for themselves! <gasps> 
Good job. Now you got them all worked up and we gotta go chase Billy through the woods. Oh, well. How was I supposed to know he was scared of E.T.? Whatever. Billy, get back here! Okay, everybody, so this is our campsite. You know what? You can start setting up the tent for us. You got it, Captain. Honey, did you forget? We have to go into town and get the groceries. We have to go grocery shopping. Mr. Um... Can you just watch the boys for us while we run into town? Yeah, sure, go off. I'll watch the kids. We'll have a blast out here. I'll teach them all about space. Thank you. We'll be back in a little bit, okay? You got it. I just want to go fishing. Well, Tommy, it looks like you got your work cut out here for you. I'm, uh, I'm going to get a line with Mercury. You get that tent set up. What? Where are you going? My dad said for you to set the tent up. I don't know how to set it up. Ah, you'll be fine. Man, I finally called Billy. You should have saw how fast he was running. Wait, what in the Cocomelons is going on here? Where did everybody go? Well, Mom and Dad went grocery shopping and Mr. What's-His-Name went to go get aligned with Mercury or something. Why would he go get aligned with Mercury? That is so weird. That must be his home planet. He is an alien. Everybody in the neighborhood's right. Yo, that is really weird. We should go see what he's doing. Oh man, but what if he takes us on his spaceship? Oh, oh, ants, ants. Guys, why am I the one that has to look? Don't make me, why am I look? That is weird. What's he doing? He must be doing some type of ritual dance to get back to the mothership. Yo, we gotta get back to the campsite right now. What is going on? I must have stepped right on that down there everywhere. Man, this is a really nice chair. And since he's going back to his home planet, I'm just gonna keep it. I'm sure he won't miss it. Coca melon, coca melon, coca melon, coca melon, coca melon. Dude, nobody wants to listen to you play the guitar right now. Hey, stop it! Give me my guitar back right now or I'm gonna tell mom! What was that? I think it was a light. It must be mom and dad. Yes, mom and dad are back. I'm gonna go tell them that the neighbor went back to his home planet. Mom! Mom! Wait! You aren't my mom and dad. Oh, you must be looking for the neighbor. No, Earthling, we are not your elders. Our supreme leader sent us here to get s'mores. S'mores? S'more what? <laughs> just kidding. My parents just went grocery shopping. We don't have any s'mores. Man, I can't believe I'm chasing Billy through the woods again. No way, Tommy, hide. Dude, what are we doing? Why are we hiding? Because, dude, look. There's a real aliens right there talking to Billy. No way, what are we gonna do? We have to save Billy. I don't know, but we gotta think of something quick. Yo, check it out, there's a bee's nest up there. Oh yeah, you're right, hold on, we need a rock. Okay, I got one. Watch this, I got a plan. Ouch! Ah! Ah! Oh, what are these? No way, there's bees everywhere, it worked! What kind of self defense mechanism is this? Ah! 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 Come on, hurry up, we gotta go get Billy while they're distracted. All right, I'm right behind you. Billy, 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 come oh, on! Good. You guys came to save me! Enough of this! I saw three of them! No, stop! You don't have to! Billy! Ah. They're really putting up a struggle protecting the small secret! We must be close! Kidding me? Is this all they have? How long were they supposed to be out here? The little boy said two weeks. How would they ever survive out here? Oh, what was that? I couldn't move. What's that light? Ah! Are you kidding me, sweetie? Don't worry. Grandma will be there real soon. Oh, hell no. 